What up guys, Elaine here from learntobitcoin.ca.za and today I'm going to show you guys how to install the Ethereum Core Wallet. Uh, before we get started, I must say guys that I am not a professional financial advisor. This is not professional financial or trading advice. Uh, any investment comes with certain risks and you could lose any and all of your money at any time. So now that that is out the way, let's get started. So first thing you want to do is you want to go to the website ethereum.org. Once that's loaded, you'll see the same site that we just saw now, the Ethereum website. So if you scroll down, you'll see a bit more about the platform, what it all does, what it all means. Um, and you can always read up the further down the page you go, uh, the more you can learn. So you can see, just scrolling down a little bit, about halfway or just under halfway, you'll see the download button and a see all versions button. This is where we'll be getting the files from. Um, if you scroll down all the way down, you'll see the different applications and the different uh, things you can do with Ethereum. And then all the way down to the bottom, you can see their blog, GitHub, YouTube, all of the kind of community areas. I do highly recommend joining these if you're going to be investing in Ethereum. Um, it's always good to keep on top of all current information as information in the space is very fast. So what we want to do to get a hold of the Ethereum wallet is if you want this version, you can go ahead Windows 32 bit, but we're going to go to see all versions. So once you click see all versions, it'll take you to the Ethereum GitHub page. You can see here that they've just released a new wallet 0.9.2 here's all the information about that and down here is where we can download the files so if you're on Linux you can go ahead and download this file if you're on Mac you can download this file Windows you can either download the installer which has a nice GUI interface or you can go ahead and download the Ethereum wallet file so I'm gonna go ahead and click the 64-bit Windows boom and that has downloaded I've also downloaded the installer. Hope we're gonna the installer. We don't have to worry about for now. Um, once that's downloaded, you just uninstall the zip file. Boom! There we go. And then we double-click the file to open it. Go into the Win Unpacked, and you can scroll down in this folder until you see the Ethereum Wallet application file there. So you can just double-click that. Click Run and it'll start opening up the platform or the application right here. So it's just checking the network, making sure that everything works correctly as it should. Ethereum node connected and we can see here Ethereum node needs to sync. So it'll take you a while guys. The Ethereum network has been active for a long time and in order for this wallet to accurately display your funds and your transactions, it will need to download all of the previous transactions that has happened on the network. And then once your transaction has been downloaded, it will be able to be viewed in your wallet. This could take anywhere from a couple of hours to a couple of days to a week, depending on the speed of your internet connection. There are a lot of uh, transactions that have happened in the last few years and they all need to be downloaded. So we're just going to go ahead and click launch application while that blockchain downloads and it'll take us to the wallet here. So you can see we've got the wallet contracts, no transactions yet, and you can see the various accounts. So uh, accounts are password protected keys that can hold Ether and Ethereum based tokens. These, can't, well, these can control contracts but can't display incoming transactions. So if you want to display incoming transactions, you can launch a smart contract for that. Um, so if this is your first wallet, what you can do is you can click File, you can click New Account. It'll probably prompt you to do this since I've got previous accounts. By clicking New Account, you'll be greeted with this screen to create an account when you first install the wallet. So you can go ahead and create your password. I'm going to go ahead and create that. Okay. I'm going to repeat the password here and click create account. So it says here, make sure you back up your key files and password. Back up everything. When it comes to cryptocurrency wallets or assets or any kind of transactions, always keep 
your transaction IDs, always keep your wallet files, always keep your passwords very, very, very safe. If you lose these guys, you lose all your assets and you can't blame anyone but yourself. So you can find your key files fold folder using the main menu. So you click main menu, you click accounts, you click backup accounts and you keep a copy of the key store folder where you can't lose it. So there we go. And what we'll see now is we'll see the account that we just created, account 4. Um, here is the receive address. So if I want to send Ethereum to my account to store, to hold, uh, to transfer or anything like that, I will send to this address. Uh, over here it displays the amounts of Ether I currently have. And then it says a little note here. Accounts can't display incoming transactions. Receive, hold and send Ether. To see incoming transactions, create a wallet contract to store Ether. Um, if your account balance doesn't seem updated, make sure that you are in sync with the network. So you won't see your Ethereum here until the network has downloaded. And you can see how many blocks are left right over here. So it's still a lot of blocks that need to be downloaded before I'll even see the amount of Ether if I have sent Ether to this address. So don't panic if you've sent Ether and you do not see it yet. You'll have to wait for this wallet to sync and it'll take a very long time or depending on your the speed of your internet connection. So you can see there's different options here as well. You can fund the wallet with Bitcoin. Um, I think this wallet uses Shapeshift to uh, exchange Bitcoin for Ethereum. Um, you can copy addresses. You can show your QR code, fund with the US credit card uh, or transfer Ether and tokens to the wallet. Um, awesome awesome platform great wallets uh, you can also launch contracts but that's a whole nother kettle of fish um, I'll be making videos in future of different contracts and things of that nature so do keep an eye out but essentially now you have your ethereum wallets you're able to send receive store uh, whatever you will you can rename this account to your name and boom there we go it's made my name twice that's just fine but yeah guys if this video helped you understand how to install your ethereum wallets how to get started on sending receiving updating and things of that nature then please hit like comment subscribe uh, please feel free to join us in our crypto chat uh, it's a live chat room where guys are chatting in voice uh, text helping each other uh, any questions you may have, if you're still wondering about the Ethereum wallet, please join in, uh, ask us, we're more than happy to help um, and get you started on your journey to Ethereum or getting involved with Ethereum. Um, it's a really cool platform, I'm super excited to see what happens, uh, what the future holds for Ethereum, I think there's a lot of positives it can bring um, and it has a long way to go um, and a lot of growth ahead. So thank you so much, guys. I hope your wallet doesn't take too long to sink. Um, but have a great day further. And thank you. Cheers.